donning the UC Bearcats jacket, and for good reason. 4,000 of the country's top college cheerleaders and dancers from 192 teams, they competed this past weekend in the College Cheer and Dance Team National Championship. The UC Varsity Dance Team, mm-hmm, walking away with top honors. Yes, Ashley Herman, Lauren Hawkins, and Casey Willis are here. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. How awesome. I've actually been to competition, so you were at Disney, correct? Is yeah. that where you competed? There is just an energy there that is amazing, right? I, I don't know, and I don't know really how you describe it until you're there, and you see one girl's cuter than the next, you girls, <laughs> right? And the the talent is just unbelievable. Okay, so Lauren, let me ask you, how do you get to a varsity college team? There's definitely a lot that goes into it. Most of us, we've all been dancing since we were about three. So mm -hmm. we went through all of it when we were little, and then we get to high school, and it gets a little more serious. And then there's that step that you decide that you want to try out for a college dance team, and then it's definitely way different than it was in high school. So there's a lot of work that goes into it, and you just got to keep pushing to do the best you can. All right, so Ashley, give me an idea. How many girls were trying out? Is this your first year on the team? I'm a senior this You're year. You're a senior, okay. Yep. So what was it like the first year you tried out? How many girls were you up against? There was about 60 girls at tryouts. I would say it was a big year of tryouts. So it was a different experience for me. I've never done the dance team. I always did studio dancing in high school. So it was a new level for me. Yeah. It was definitely exciting and something different. That's awesome. So Casey, give us an idea. That moment before you go to compete. So did you just do one routine or how many routines did you have to do? Uh, we actually competed in two routines, mm -hmm. and um, we've been training in them since getting them prepared since November, October. And it gets really, really serious, like the first, the last few weeks right before we leave, and we just keep drilling them intensely until it's time to go. Well, what is it about your team that set you apart from the others? Because are the routines basically the same, or is there something that your team does that is just different from the others? I think our, for the most part, all the dances look pretty similar. Sure. Our dance team is more of like a crew style kind of. Um, we have like a bunch of different styles within one. A lot of dance teams, like their hip hop routine, they stick to one kind of style throughout and we um, switch it up with different like kinds of styles like whacking, crumping, different like terminology like oh, that. Oh my, yes. <laughs> what is that exactly? Um, Actually, give us an idea of what you do. Can you? Yeah. Just do a few steps or something. We don't have any steps. music. They don't need music. <laughs> I'm going to just step out. I'm going to let you guys do your thing. So show okay. us okay. kind of what you so did as part of competition. Do you want to count it? So this was like our beginning rolling section. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that's how we started. <laughs> awesome. It. A okay. smooth. Well, I'm sorry that Frank's not here because I would make him do that. So I, you know, okay, so I'm a, just a few years older than the three of you, but I was on the drill team at Princeton. And we, it, it, there was a combination between that, and I, when I hear you talking about the difference in training at a dance studio and then moving on to high school and then on to college, it is completely different. Yes, mm -hmm. for right. sure. So what do you say the girls that see you, see your video and go, I, I want to do that? What should they be doing? You know, there is a uh, different training that comes into it. There's a certain technique and stuff. But I would say just uh, the biggest thing is just like watch, you know, and see what to do and just practice. And then really there's nothing you can do until you get on the team to train really? the way yeah. we do. So I would just say, you know, work and do the best you can, come practice, try practice, out, practice. and then as soon as you get on the team, it becomes way more natural. All yeah. right, so Ashley, so you hear your name called. They probably, did they start with number three, or how did they, they do start that? start with 10th place. 10th place. Yes. There's how many teams? 192? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you're thinking, wow, what are our chances, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So feeling pretty confident at that point? Yeah. Where were you thinking? Were you thinking first? We were placed first after semis. So we knew we were going to be in the top. There was like a point difference from third to first. So we knew we were hopefully going to be up there, but you never know which way it's going to so go. So they get to number three and you're like, oh. Your heart's stopping a little <laughs> bit. Your name wasn't called number two. Your name's not called and you're thinking, oh, no, you know? Yeah. Awesome. It was a great moment. Congratulations. Thank That's you. really awesome. And, of course, we uh, can't let you guys go without mentioning that UK, their uh, cheerleading squad won. Yes time national champions as well so that's awesome lots of talented girls in our neck of the woods congratulations <laughs> thank, thank you to come on the extra in just a moment we'll be right back the fox 19 mobile app download it today for free 